Kenya's Gold. Absolutely no Monday blues over here because we come through with another round of great agricultural features, of course, on the house. Now, we do hope you had yourselves a lovely weekend and that you're ready to get your hands dirty and smile all the way to the bank thanks to agriculture. Thank you so much for joining us on yet another fantastic episode of Kenya's Gold. My name is Violeta Angina and guess who we have back? <laughs> <laughs> we missed you, you know? Asanteni. Ah, uh, nashukuru sana mm -hmm. uh, So what did you bring us from Kericho? Kwanza nilikuja na baraka ya mvua. Uh -huh. Kule mvua inanyonyota kweli kweli. Uh -huh. uh, utaratibu mwingi unakuja lakini bahati mbaya kuna watu waliowaga dunia kutokana na kukanyagwa. Uh -huh. Kulikotokea mkanyagano katika mlango moja katika uh, sherehe za mashujaa. Lakini tiweje tumshukuru tu Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba tumerejea sasa. Shughuli tulifanya. Mm -hmm. Uliniona kwa nguruwe? Mhm. Eh. Yeah, so much fun. Nilikuwa no. naogopa utarudi jamani. Eh, lakini Mursik. Eh, <laughs> Nikwambie kwa kale. Eh. Kae Mursik. Nilikunywa Mursik. Okay. Uh, lakini asante sana kwa kufuatilia Kenya's Gold. Jina langu ni Emmanuel Terer. Kuna mengi ambayo tumekuandalia. Lakini wiki iliyopita kuna yale ambayo tuliyafanya tuangazie kwa sasa. Yeah. The price of tea all the time is determined by the quality of tea. And the quality does not start at the factory level. It starts right there in the shamba. We need to adapt the use of technology because even the machines that we have in uh, at the grassroots level are not yet assuring the farmer that we are weighing correctly. Exports, ama kazi ya usafirishaji wa mboga na matunda, ni kazi inaitaji mtu awe makini, Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu ndege sio kama dala dala. Mm -hmm. Ikiondoka, imesha ondoka. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo kuanzia shambani, mm -hmm. mpaka kwenye kiwanda, mm -hmm. kutoka kwenye kiwanda kwenda kwenye uwanja wa ndege, mm -hmm. ni lazima uwe makini sana. Climate smart agriculture is when you think about agriculture interference with crop production or animal production or agriculture. If some of them, uh, you're looking at uh, maybe weather changes, that are making you not plant anything by April, and uh, you realize that by the time you're planting, there's no rain. Things are very clean animals. So housing is very important. You want to consider the floor. The floor is very, very key because pigs are known to root, you know. They have a very tough snot. They kind of root the floor a bit. And you also want to make sure that the floor is quite firm, compact, and well done, but of course, washable. Washing is a very key element in all husband, animal husbandry and exercises. One of the reasons why our coffee is uh, so much sought after is because of the processes that we do our coffee. We also look at the soil and the elevation under which the coffee is grown. One of the areas that farmers need to appreciate that we have good soil, we have good elevation, uh, and therefore it allows the coffee bean to grow slowly, and therefore it is able to pick all the nutrients from the soil and those nutrients contribute to the quality of the cup. What a fantastic week we had last week, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and we do have plans of raising the bar this week. Now, today being Monday, of course, we sent our conversations around, let's say together, one, two, three, horticulture. There you go. And we do want to finish what we started. Last week, we went all the way into planting. You've taken care of your trees. You've been patient enough. We move all the way to harvesting. How do you do that. The only way for you to find out is by watching our gold feature that we do have coming right up. Take a look. It's a music video and I'm not an acrobat either. But what we're about to do right here at Kenya's Gold, we will be harvesting our custard apple fruit. Now you remember right here on the show, we took you to the process of planting it. And after three years, we are ready with our fruit. Now, if there's one thing that we have had our farmers talk about over and over and over again is the element of patience. So once you plant, give it time, here you are with your fruit. So let's Let's get started with the process of harvesting our custard apple. Join me as we do it. We have another one here. 
the tree is very loaded and I'll be getting my farmer to help us do more. Here is more. We planted to me patia mde kamea na sasa tuko hapa ready to harvest. Lakini nakuona kuna kitu umeshikilia. Something very interesting. Pengine utuambie hiki ni nini na kina tusaidiaji. Hii inaitwa fruit picker. Sababu matunda ikienda mbali mahali hayawezi fikika na mtu. Tunazuia mtu asiwanguke na miti kuvunjika. Kwa hivyo ndio tumenunua hii iwe na enda mpaka mahali inatahitajika. Sababu hii iko na extender. Una extend paka hivi itaenda mpaka si unaona? Hii iko mbali sana. Sasa yaweza enda ipike ikiwa mbali. Inaingia sababu ikianguka chini inavunjika. Commercial ni kutoka 5 years peak inakuwa 7 years. Kifika 7 years inaanza kuzaa ajabu. Na hii iko na ina last for how long inti? Utakula hii mti for how long? Ah, hii nafikiri ni milele sababu zile babangu alipanda 1975 ziko na zinazaa ajabu. Alright, so kwa mti kama huu tunaweza pata keji ngapi ya matunda? Kwa maximum inaenda mpaka 800 pa, uh, per tree. 800 kg per tree. Si unaona kama hii? Mm -hmm. Hii imekoma. Hii tulikuwa tumechuna imekoma hii lakini hii iko na sukari kuliko hii. Hii yagalia. Mm. Hii iko na green kidogo, mm -hmm. hii iko na yellow. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo hii imekoma. Alafu nitakuonyesha ingine ile ambayo haijakoma. Kama haijakoma kabisa, mm -hmm. hii, ma, hii madunde mm -hmm. inakuwa kubwa. Hizi rambo hizi mm -hmm. inakuwa kubwa. Lakini ikiwa imekoma inakuwa smooth. Hata ukishika hivi iko mm -hmm. smooth. So zote hizi zimekoma isipokuwa iko na sukari nyingi kushinda hii. Sababu hii imekoma zaidi ya hii. Imekoma zaidi kushinda hii. Hey. Kuna vitu ambavyo unapitia katika ukulima wa custard apple unaweza tuambia challenge ni kama gani uh, kwanza kabisa uzuri wa hizi custard apples hazina uojwa mingi uh, wakati hii nitamaliza hizi matunda mm -hmm. alafu ma, mvua ianze kunyesha kutaanza kutokea hii matawi yote itaaguka wakati mvua itanyesha kila mahali tawi ilikuwa inatokea maua na, na nini na tawi ingine kwa hivyo hiyo matawi ndio tunaanza wakati huo tunaanza kupiga dawa. Tunaanza kupiga wakati huo dawa kwa nini? Kama kuna ugonjwa ya fango ilikuwa imeingia kwa hiyo kwa hii miti. Saa hiyo ndio mzuri wa, wa kupiga dawa. Tena fango sana sana inaingia wakati matawi iko nyepesi. Nye wakati wa flushing. Kwa hivyo wakati huo ndio tunapiga wa, uh, fango side na dawa zingine abaye ni tu, tu, tuseme insecticide dogo dogo wakati zitatoa maua na tupige hizo dawa zote na tena tunapiga interval ya mwezi moja kwa hivyo wakati mvua itanyesha ikianza ikianza kutoa maua napiga dawa wakati zinaanza kutoa matunda napiga mara nyingine moja kwa hivyo huanga tunapiga mara nne hiyo matunda yanachana naye sasa kuja wakati zitakoma zikianza kukoma ndio mtu anafaa aweke aanze kutunza mm -hmm. sababu wakati hiyo ndio inakuwa infested na wadudu mm -hmm. sana sana fruit fry na force coding moth na hizo zinakuwa rahisi sana ku mm -hmm. sababu umeona kale kamutego kapo pale mm -hmm. uh, nimekaweka na hako kamutego ukiweka kana rinda hard meters ukikalida kanalida hiyo miti hii miti hard meters kutoka mahali kako mm -hmm. radius kwa hivyo kama ekali moja inafaa miti mikebe nne mm -hmm. kwa kona lakini sababu huku kume miti ni mikubwa huaga naweka kila laini naweka mitego miwili pande hii na pande hii mm -hmm. hii ndio hasara ile fruit fly inatuonyesha uh, force code ni moth ilikuja ikadungwa si unaona ilikuja mm -hmm. ikadunga na ikaenda kwa hivyo hata sio ku ati haizaani hapa ni kudunga kuharibu kwa hivyo hii ilidunga na ikaenda na ndio na imepona lakini hii hata ukipeleka soko watu wanakataa sababu wanafikiria hiyo 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 mdudu wako ndani kwa hivyo ni kuharibu tu kwa hivyo ndio tunaweka unaona tunaweka mitego kuna ile ya triangle 
hiyo ni force code ni FCM kuna ingine hii kuna pheromone hiyo ni ya fruit fry lakini nimekuja kugudua uh, kuna IPM integrated pest management na ndiyo nimeweka kero experiment kwa hivyo ukiweka kero uchanganya na maji kwa tule vibuyu za maji mineral water hiyo ni experiment hakuna mdudu anaka akijifanya sugu asiki ndio anakuja kushikwa na hizo zingine mitego ana hmm. market yake bado iko ready market watu wengi wanapenda market market watu wameingia wame, wanataka hizi wa china wale wanakuja kufanya construction hapa Kenya hmm. wanasipenda sana na wahindi hata nilipata last year nilipata order ya kupeleka export uh, mid right. lakini mwaka huu sijui soko imekuaje mm-hmm. lakini imenunuliwa ukurokari unajua watu wengi wanaogopa pia kuingia kuklima kwa sababu wanasema okay nitalima nitavuna lakini nitatoa api market wewe by the time unafika mpaka kiwango ambapo unapata market middle east kuliendaje hapo katikati nilienda tu kwa, kwa kwa media kuna mtu alikuwa akitafuta hiyo kitu akanidi akanipata kwa 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 Facebook ndio tukapatana unajua watu wengi wakikuona wanaweza dhania au ah, ni maana lo gajui mambo ya digital siku hizi lazima uende na uende vile mambo iko mm-hmm. kama ni digital lazima utakiwa mzee lazima utoke anaro uingie digital. digital usipokaa digital uko we, huko kwa biashara kwa hivyo lazima tujaribu tungangane kuingia kupenda tusipende lazima tuingie kama tuko kwa biashara vijana lazima watoke watoke mahali wako sababu wao wanataka kitu ya uh, wakifanya leo baada ya mwezi tatu lazima wapate au kama kazi ya dudhi atakienda abebe mtu apeleke pale apate pesa lakini pesa iko kwa ukulima Una, unasikia mvumilivu hula bivu lazima uvumilie hiyo miaka tatu ukivumilia miaka tatu baada ya miaka tatu yanaanza kuzaa baada ya miaka tano unaanza kuigiza pesa na kutoka wakati hiyo utakuwa ukiigiza pesa kwa hivyo hakuna kitu kizuri kama kupanda kitu ambayo uta, utavumilia na mwishoe na haifeli matunda ya miti ya matunda haifeli nisomeshwa siku moja nikaambiwa na mzee mwingine hakuna kitu kizuri kama kupanda kitu kwa wingi hata kitu ikishuka bei we ukiwa na kitu nyingi utapata pesa mingi. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo ukipata kitu ukipata kitu nyingi hata mwenye kuja kununulia atakuwa akifikiria ni nani aweza jaza haraka. Kwa hivyo watu wengi wanakuja kwa kwa sababu uko na kitu nyingi na uko na kitu ambayo imetunzwa. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo kama umetunza matunda yako haina wadudu na ni mzuri na umeweka bolea vile umeona huko vile umeweka bolea mm-hmm. Be, uh, uko kwa soko. Right, so tukimaliza ku harvest tumechukua matunda yetu yote ndio sasa una package unapeleka kwenye market. Kama Hapana. Wanakuja kuchukulia hapa. Mtu anachuna ile kitu anataka. Mm-hmm. Hata huyo mtu ya export anachukua ile kitu anataka. Ile kitu anataka analeta watu yake wachune. Mm-hmm. Mimi kazi yangu ni ukulima. Okay. Mimi ni kusupply na ninamuonyesha kitu ni hii sababu nikianza hiyo maneno ya kufanya miaka yangu imeenda hiyo ifanywe na mtu mwingine right. na mimi yangu niachi hapa ni kule mimi ni niendelee na kazi okay. eh. and finally tukifunga you've done farming for quite a long time mm. na mambo yako inaenda vizuri clearly tunaweza kwa shamba mm. lakini pengine utuambie how do you feel the government or even the county agricultural offices wanaweza saidia wakulima huku ili waweze ku advance in their farming kwa sababu wengi wana complaints kuna usaidizi wanataka na wewe umekuwa hapa kwa muda mrefu unaweza semaje kwanza kabisa na shukuru governor wetu governor wetu ukulima ako naye kwa roho yake sana sana alianza na subsidy ya maziwa na maembe na juzi nilisikia akisema hata subsidy ya, ya, ya matunda zingine zitakunja na kwanza kabisa ametutafutia soko na sasa ndio tunaona na tunaomba yeye hata soko ya matunda zingine avocado hii castadepo tutafutue market sababu market iko ni ile link ya kujua hapa ni wapi hapa ndio pesa mzuri na wajue ati toweza supply ile nyingine nataka kuambia wakulima wapande kitu mtu kitu ambaye kinaitwa matunda matunda hayawezi kosa soko wajua kwa nini 
ukienda hospitali kuona mtu kenyata wezi ingia huko na nyama hata kuku ile kitu you name it taingia na matunda lakini ukienda na matunda ionekana hivi naambiwa ingia kwa hivyo matunda ni nda ni dawa kwa hivyo watu walime ma, wal, watu walime dawa so you can confirm that ukulima iko na pesa ai pesa iko ah, yeah. lakini ni kuvumilia ah, yeah. na vumlivu vum, ulabivu kabisa kabisa Thank you so karibu kwa wale ambao wanashuku wamekusikia unaposema kuna pesa katika ukulima thank you so much it's been such an honor being in your farm We get to enjoy the delicacy. Inaka tamu sana. Sana. So we we test. Let's go. Mmm. Is it good? Oh my god. Mmm. Kwa hivyo tusahau tunafaa kuongea na watu ni It is so good. We almost forgot you. We have taken you through the process of custard apple. Tarehe tulianza wapi? tulianza kule ambapo tulifunga pingu za maisha kwa mti. Mhm. Tunaitwa grafting. Grafting. Yeah. Kisha tukaenda wapi tukapanda. Uh -huh. Tukaketi tukaupa muda tukavuna. Na, Na sasa uh -huh. tunakula. Mwa from north. <laughs> <laughs> Now one of the major things that we have learned of course is the importance of using your social media platforms to market your work. Nilifurahi sana wakati nilikuwa namsikiza mkulima wetu akituambia jinsi anatumia mitandao ya kijamii kuhakikisha watu wanaona kazi yake na sasa ako na market hadi Middle East. Bila shaka, inamaanisha kwamba ile simu ambayo unaitumia kila siku si simu tu ya kujiburudisha. Si ku dance tu kila siku hapo. Bali nawe utapata nafasi ya kupata soko kimataifa. All right, so there you go. Use your phones to market at your work and also a lesson that keeps coming and coming and coming and coming and I think it's going to keep coming until God knows when is the fact that you have to be patient give it time three years and here you are I hope you have learned as much as we have we'll be giving you so much more on all matters ukulima mokipenda ukulima biashara this right here is Kenya's gold Kenya's gold <laughs>